Uh, I'm spinning in my new home. This is my new home, Balai Nicolas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Butter, what are you doing? Butter? <laughs> hey, it's okay. Hey. It's just me at home. Oh my gosh, again. Butter. <laughs> it's okay, hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. She is just so cute, unbelievable. Okay, just me at home. Uh, Dundee and Kumar on a surf trip right now. It's December the 14th. Oh my gosh, not December, it's January the 14th. This is 2020. Um, what usually happens is I wake up, feed butter. Check up to see if Boding's home. Oh, you're home, Brad. Oh. Brad, what's up? Morning. Morning, Morning. how are you? Morning. Did you just Why'd you cover your body, man? Why'd you cover your body? Well, I'm shy. You're shy? Lillian, is he shy? Is it true? No way, you're jacked, man. Hey, I'm going to... You going to work? I'll work. Should I come to work today? Mm. Yeah? What's What's the best thing to order from Double Bubble? Coffee. coffee. Oh, coffee, because you, you make good it. good quality coffee beans. Actually? Yes. Okay, so, we'll, we'll visit. Local I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to update the world today, so... <laughs> By that I mean anybody who watches. <laughs> I'll come visit you later, man. Okay. Okay, yeah. cool, man. Hey, Lin Lin, how are you? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so I wake up, feed the dog. Where'd Butter go? Butter! Hey! Butter! Hey! Butter! Hey! Butter! Man. <laughs> butter steak. I don't look like Omar. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. See you later, Brad. Hi, hi, yo. I'll just show you a few things that make sometimes life unique here in Tibisak. Uh, that's dirt from just after a few days of having water in the bucket. Uh, I don't really get a good clean water source here, unfortunately, by the river. That's my bath. Top speed, like the fastest it's ever been in months, and it's barely trickling. So because the water here in my house, it's never clean, there's like little bits of sediment it seems in it, uh, I can never really go a few days without having to clean out these buckets or just uh, refresh everything in the bathroom because it just gets so dirty. <laughs> Thank you. 
Obviously, <laughs> I gotta take off my shorts and take a real bath, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Well, if you just looked at that drone footage, you would see and you would notice that things are changing around here. Um, so they finished the bridge across the river and uh, now they're developing a big road here. Um, it's been very dusty lately <laughs> and they're out here working every day. And this area of Kagindyoro is probably gonna get a lot busier soon with a new bridge and new highway connection because it makes a shortcut to kind of avoid going through the city uh, in some areas. So as you can see right now in front of me They are building a brand new road and that is going right past Where I sleep and where we live <laughs> So things are changing around the river here <laughs> and yeah, I mean it's fine, it's cool. Uh, I didn't actually expect they were going to build a road right next to the house though, but uh, yeah, as you saw this morning guys, I don't have the most glorious uh, life. What I mean by that is maybe comparatively. Now, again, when I say that, there's actually probably more people in the world who don't even have water, don't even have electricity, and uh, you know, I actually have a very blessed life having that house that I'm living in there, especially with my amazing neighbors and everybody around us. But uh, for what I do with going around the country a lot and adventuring and I come back there, uh, I don't actually have internet. It's been down for four months. The PLDT came to fix it twice. They fixed it, it worked for a few days and it stopped working again. Uh, it's been like that for over a year and a half. Uh, the water, as you saw, it barely even goes. I can't really do dishes and uh, can barely take a bath. When I take a bath, it's kind of dirty. Right? And yeah, lots of cockroaches, lots of interesting experiences. Again, not complaining at all. Uh, I love this place. I've been so happy living here, but things are changing around here. It's becoming more busy. And I don't really have just a few things that I'd really like to have, like a good source of water, good uh, internet Wi-Fi so I can actually update, write stories, share these things with you. And uh, yeah, it's, it's time for a change. It's going to be time for a change soon. So I'm going to walk back down here. What you're going to see today is I'm going to show you that I'm moving. I'm not moving today. It's going to be maybe a couple months, but I'm going to be moving and leaving to Basak and going into my own place right back near where my Tito and Tito live here in the city. So yeah, I just want to show you a few reasons why it's just going to be busier. I don't have water ever, don't have internet and uh, okay, I'm going to get ready. We're going to go to the city because I want to go visit Boding and I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet. It's about 9.30 in the morning. I actually really enjoy just driving around being home on my scooter. <laughs> I'm just happy. <laughs> Professional earlier. Yes. How come? How come you're just professional now, yes. Brad? Be quiet. Be handsome in the front of the customer. How? Oh, be presentable. I mean, I, I have the package already done some, so presentable na lang. 
Don't laugh, mom. Is <laughs> that your boss, though? Uh, yes. That's your boss? Uh, that's our secretary. Uh, Hello, uh, secretary. Hello, uh, secretary. Hello. Uh, so beautiful. Remember, if you come in here and anybody else is working at Boding, you have to be really stoked on Boding so they, so they don't fire him. So he keeps his job. <laughs> Brad, can you make that? Huh? Can you make that? Where? That thing. This one? Yeah. I'll try. <laughs> Are you so serious, Brad? You know, your wife's gonna see this. This, this is it, man. No pressure. Your boss, your wife, all your followers. <laughs> this is that moment. If you screw up, Boding, your future is. This is it, man. Oh my gosh, Boding, what are you doing? Brad, 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 Brad! What do you call that? Tulip, tulip. What? Tulip, tulip. A tulip, tulip. Nice one, nice one, Brad. I'm gonna tip him bainte. Bainte, bainte. Beef tapa egg, no rice. <laughs> what do you have to say about no rice pudding? Very westernized. Hey, explain who's that man? Who's that man out there? Okay, uh, collects uh, plastic bottles and one. We admire him because he. How many times now he went here almost every day in the morning, but he never asked for money. Ah, uh, so, uh, so you always give him stuff. Oh, uh, maybe we, we gave him. Like, Bread, extra bread. It's, you know, not, not only is that heartwarming, you know, you know what else is heartwarming though? Boding speaks English every day with me and he never asks me for money. <laughs> so every day struggle in my life. I wish the apartment will, someone buy the apartment and <laughs> we will live together. Scattered now. So that I will stop my English every day. Really hard in my, hard in my life. Speaking of that though, the reason I'm actually making this video is I've been showing everybody earlier because I'm going to move out eventually. Remember? Yes, I'm going to move soon, so he knows where I'm going. It's a cool place, no? And it's very scary. It, the apartment is very scary. It's more scary. The next, the new one. It's, I know. You know I, it's a secret. <laughs> your English is amazing. Anyways, that was heartwarming though. It's cool he does that, but I just had to make a joke about the English oh. pudding. Monadia. Okay, let's see. Okay, I've left Devil Bubble and Boding at work. Time to show you where I'm moving to. Just passing through Divisoria. Okay, welcome to Viajero Outdoor Center. Take a look. This is really cool. Ooh. 
What's up? What's up? Yeah. So, if you didn't know, this is pretty much one of the original, if not, it is the original outdoor shop, no? Viejero? In CDO? Yeah. It's like the first. This is the first outdoor shop in CDO. It's over 25 years old. And if you know about me, I used to work in Hong Kong for an outdoor adventure company. And my first Filipino friend, one of them, Eric Bontuya, and him and his wife own the shop. And uh, it used to be in Divisoria, but they've moved it here. Uh, is this Aguinaldo, no? Aguinaldo. Aguinaldo Street, across from Echo Store, outside there, behind the chinelas. But uh, yeah, the reason I'm showing you the shop, of course, because they're my friends and they're local and they rule. And if you ask anybody, they're like the legends of the outdoor community here in Northern Mindanao. But I'm also going to be living here. But not, not here, in the store. <laughs> Although I like to live in the store, look at all the stuff. <laughs> but I'm gonna be living on the other side of this place. But before I show you it, I'm gonna have coffee. In here. Ryan! <laughs> What's up, man? Like I coffee? Ready coffee? Oh no, the water's off! Dang it. It's okay, next time, next time, Brad. Next time. Salamat. <laughs> Dang, usually I always get uh, coffee from Ryan. He's a Manobo, uh, one of the staff members here. And he makes the best coffee because he's local from the mountains. But, Sayang, no coffee. I'll just do some work. Show you my house in a bit. <laughs> nice. nice. Woo! Sig. Hey, some bread. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Brad. Yes. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Brad. <laughs> Welcome to my new future home. <laughs> so behind this big ancestral house that is also an outdoor center on the bottom and a open space for working and having coffee and renting out for, for friends or whatever, is this old building. Gotta sneak through. And as you can see, this old building is a work in progress. And the guys who are doing it, are having lunch, no? Okay, Lum? Okay, fights. Oh, ninja. Oh, ninja assassin. <laughs> are having lunch. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be my new home. I am moving in here, maybe in about, I don't know, month, month and a half, whenever it's done. Uh, and I'm freaking excited for it because I'm going to turn this into a becoming Filipino, well, my place where I'm going to stay when I'm done my adventures and hanging out. But also, yeah, I'm going to be a part of this outdoor center and just do some cool stuff and use the open space. And I believe in the future they're debating turning this spot up here, outside where my house is going to be, into an Airbnb for people to come hang out, travel, whatever. So it's just going to be a happy, open, vibrant space. For now, it's a... Uh, Almost at the wall, Brad, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, fights, fights. For now, it's uh, yeah, a work in progress. My bathroom is going to be over here. And uh, yeah, this is going to be the new Becoming Filipino Battle Station headquarters. I'm stoked on that, so thank you, brother. Gone. Okay. Salamat, no? Chabaho, Kuskan. Kaundakan. Oh, Kaundakan, Sakto. All right. So I am stoked. And I just want to show you, uh, share that with you, because this is going to be my new home in Cagayan de Oro. And literally just down the street is my Tita and Tito's, and across from here is Echo Store, where I like to eat as well. So it's just a good, happy community place right in the heart of the city. Yeah, I hope you 
to come visit me in the future, but I'll update you. My new home in Kangen Yoro, Viejo Outdoor Center in the back.